Hello, Internet, and welcome to Arena Time here on Shoutstone. So we are following Trump's run through the arena with his Paladin Deck of Wonders. He's currently 7-1 and one in the arena. He has two more wins to go to reach Grandmaster level. So let's just hop right back into things because I really have no other contributions to make at this point. It's arena time. Let's get down to business. It is Uther versus Uther. Paladin, Paladin action. Trump with his Paladin deck versus Omnic and their Paladin deck. I don't know if it's a him or her. But yeah, so uh, things are looking pretty good here. Trump well on his way to another Grandmaster run through the arena. Uh, once again, this is a pre-patch game. So do keep that in mind. That this is going to be pre-patch. So a lot of the changes that happened uh, when they did the big wipe and everything like that, obviously not taking any account for here. But anyway, uh, not a whole lot to say on the quick start here. Putting in a Monty Berserker out is the first move for Omnic here. Getting a, uh, a pretty good early 2-3 minion to at least get something out on the field. Sun Fury Protector coming out to counter that. And as it stands right now, even Stevens, I guess. Looks like he's just going to bypass that minion to go straight into the hero for a quick couple points of damage. Raging Worgen now out, making things a lot more interesting than uh, that 1-1 one, one Silverhand Recruit would be. And uh, yeah, Trump is going to repeat the same thing, skip the other minions and just go straight into Uther, try to chip some damage away. Frostwolf Grunt, get a little bit of taunt out on the field. And a nice little play there, use, sacrificing his cheap little 1-1 uh, one, one minion to trigger the uh, Enrage on that Berserker. <coughs> Excuse me, oh my. And tackle some of that Raging Morgan. Divine Shield to take out the Berserker before it can really do anything. So a really nice play right there. As you can see, he took out the uh, Frostwolf Grunt with the first strike of that Enraged Worgen, which does have Wind Fury. Uh, and then used his second strike to take out the uh, Amani Berserker after giving it Divine Shield. And a silence on the Raging Worgen. Nullifies its effect, but that's okay. It's done what it needed to do at this point. <clears throat> so. Sacrificing a couple minions to get some card draws. That's going to be... Another card draw for Trump. So that's a those are really smart plays right there. If you if you didn't really kind of observe what he did, he sacrificed a couple minions to take one out uh, deliberately. There usually that's a bad trade, but in this case he had that cult master out, which allows you to draw a card every time a friendly minion dies. So he sacrificed two of them, got a couple quick card draws. Now has uh, the card advantage, and it's looking pretty good. So another quick trade there, another card draw, making sure he attacks with everything but the Cult Master. And he's going to put that Lord of the Arena into play, take another couple points of damage off of Omnic, and roll straight forward. So I'm, I'm eager to see kind of what Omnic's response is going to be. This is a, this is a very minion-heavy deck, at, at least for Trump, as we've seen. Um, there aren't a lot of spells, but there's not really a ton of spells that Paladins are going to use anyway. Um, it's mostly a, a minion heavy type design. The beast coming in will probably trade off for that Lord of the Arena. Or probably not. He might leave it out there and just uh, try to focus some damage on the opposing hero instead. No, he's going to trade it. So, gets rid of that problem and gets the... Uh, Finkel Einhorn throws a Twilight Drake at a very opportune point when he's loaded up with cards and doing some really solid play in clearing these extra or extraneous minions off the field for his opponent 
making life all the more difficult. So a pint-sized summoner comes on the field. It's going to attack in with the Lightbringer. Kill one minion, get a couple points of health back. Uh, Blessing of Kings, a very strong buff card. He could throw that on the Twilight Drake. And it looks like that is... Uh, no, he's actually going to throw that on... Uh, And was gonna finish the game. <laughs> That's all I can really say. He's just gonna be finish the game. Everything's gonna end tonight. GG. Another win for Trump on the road to Grand Master. So there you have it. That's gonna do it for a relatively quick episode of Arena Time. Some of these games are long, some of them are short, but there you have it. So another win. That puts him to 8-1. and one. He is one win away. Can he so seal the deal on Friday? We will find out in just a couple days. But we'll be back tomorrow with more action, as always, here on Shoutstone. Uh, Total Biscuit and his legendary, his 19 legendary deck will make a second appearance on the program. Uh, and hopefully it'll fare a little bit better than it did last time. But that's going to be our game of choice. So don't miss that. But beyond all that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you can find me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below, so make sure you follow me and like me there. That'd be really cool. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel so you get daily updates on your YouTube subscription page. You can like this video, comment, all that fun, fancy, happy stuff that I always appreciate so much. And tell your friends. Spread, spread the word of Shoutstone. People who, watch the, who enjoy the game but don't watch the commentary, I'd like to get some more folks in here. Alright, but thanks again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.